Hey guys, it's Jules. Welcome back to my channel. Today I decided to, well not I, my mom actually decided that I was going to do her makeup today. Uh, she's going to a Christmas party and so she wanted me to do some makeup on her and we just thought it would be some really cool uh, content for my YouTube channel. Uh, so if you want to see more stuff like this, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. There's definitely going to be a lot more stuff to come. Um, but if you want to see how I did this wonderful look on my makeup on my mom today, uh, just go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, so first I'm going to have um, my mom use this micellular water. Oh, it's really bright with the new lights. Um, so I just use this basically just to clean off any oil that I have on my face. And so I'm going to have my mom do the same thing. Okay, so now that that's all done, now I want you to use, we're just gonna use um, the, the lotion that my mom normally uses is just a, um, just a facial lotion from CVS. All right, so now that I've gotten your face all moisturized and let it sit in your skin, I'm gonna go ahead and apply, um, I'm gonna do a little bit of foundation. I don't wanna put too many layers on your face because I don't want it to look cakey. Um, so today I'm just gonna be using uh, the Dream Liquid Mousse and the Airbrush Finish in Shade Porcelain because like me, my mom is really, really pale. <laughs> Yay! So we're just gonna kinda go in with uh, my a Dampened Beauty Blender. do my makeup I didn't put any uh, foundation really under her eyes because I do just want to put a little bit of concealer down there um, just to mask any darker circles so I'm just gonna be using I'm just gonna use my uh, Catrice liquid camouflage in the lightest shade they have okay so now I'm just gonna use uh, the same beauty blender and just kind of blend it out I need you to look up. So now my mom basically just has like a blank canvas. I'm use my fan that I got from Thailand and just fan my mom's face and make sure it's all dry before I start putting any kind of powder on her face. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of powder on my mom's face just to kind of set the foundation a little bit more and um, this foundation is not really cakey this is just the Too Faced um, Peach Perfect foundation oh my gosh my light um, this is my favorite and it smells really good and I've told you that it tastes really good too so you know if it falls on to your mouth you know it'll be like a <laughs> <So> surprise <be> <laughs> I'm really just gonna use um, the sponge to um, set her under her eyes just to make sure that there's no creasing and then a little bit in the middle of her um, eyebrow. So if you could look up. And now I'm just gonna use um, this brush that I just used for powder and just get very little, because I don't want her to look too cakey, too cakey, um, and we'll just brush that kind of all over the face just to kind of set everything and get any excess powder out from under her eye. So now I'm gonna use, this is my favorite spray. I don't even know why I love it so much. I don't really know what it does for me, but I just, um, I don't know, I just like it. So I'm just gonna use this, oh my goodness, Mario uh, Badesco, I don't even know if I'm saying that right, just their facial spray with the rose water. So close your eyes. <laughs> So my mom doesn't really put anything in her eyebrows and she actually has really thicker brows. 
so I don't really want to add too much product so I'm gonna comb them in one direction and then I'm just gonna add like just a little bit more color where I think she's lacking a little bit so I'm just gonna be using um, this Mac eyebrow pencil and shade lingering eyeshadow and I'm gonna be using my trusty Jaclyn Hill palette I'm really just gonna be sticking more in like the neutral browns right here and I may even dip into like very lightly right in here I'm just gonna use this brush that I use for a base it's just a fluffy brush just to get an even amount of color all over her eye I'm just gonna be using the um, shade silk cream next I'm gonna be using this um, medium size blending brush uh, just because my mom has a little bit smaller um, eyelid than I do so I don't want to uh, bring up the color too high so I'm going to be using like a little bit of a darker color there with this brush. I'm going for a more natural look on my mom because she doesn't really wear too much makeup and she doesn't want to look too overdone. So that color that I used uh, on my mom's transition was the shade Pooter, but now I'm going to just go into the shade right next to it called Pukey. <laughs> so next I'm going to go into one of my favorite eyeshadow colors in this palette called Obsessed using this um, Luxie Angle Fluffy Brush and uh, so my Welcome, Bailey. Welcome to the makeup party. She can do she my wants, makeup she, too. She wants to. She wants to have makeup on. Um, so my mom <laughs> is going to a Christmas party today, and so this is kind of why she wants me to do her makeup. And so I asked her if doing a shimmer was okay, <laughs> and she said yes because she's going to a Christmas party. Okay, uh, so now just to kind of bring um, her under eye down, I am just going to put a little bit of eyeshadow in there. So I'm basically just going to be the same shade that I used on the top of her eye called Pooter. Okay, so I'll just tight line on my mom's eye. So I'm just going to be using this uh, Ciate. Uh, the Ciate liner. I actually just got this in an Ipsy a few months ago and I just kind of use it whenever I want to use a pencil liner and not a liquid liner. beautiful long lashes that I wish I had um, so I don't really need to use a mascara on her that's gonna be lengthening I think I want to use more of a voluminizing mascara on her however I do want to curl her lashes just a little bit to make her eyelashes look a little bit more open instead of um, outwards or down I'm gonna hand my mom a mirror and I'm gonna hand her the uh, L'Oreal Lash Paradise mascara, which is a very volumizing mascara. So if you wanna do that, and if you just wanna do like a couple coats. So this is uh, where we're at with my mom's makeup. So far, you wanna go ahead and close your eyes, mom. And kinda see, we got a little bit of dimension in there, just a little bit of eyeliner, and then you can go ahead and open up again. And look at those lashes! Like, I wish I had those lashes, they're so nice. Um, so this is where we're at right now. Okay, so now that I basically have my mom's eyes done, I'm gonna move on to the rest of her face, and I don't really wanna contour too much, I don't want it to look too harsh on here, so I'm really just gonna use more of a bronzer. Well, I'm gonna use exactly a bronzer. Um, <laughs> just to warm up her face a little bit so it doesn't look so ghostly. Yay! <laughs> so I'm gonna be using my favorite 
as I'm sure if you've watched many of my videos, I love the uh, Physicians Form Formula Butter Bronzer, and just and I'm using the shade Light Bronzer on her, just once again, so it's not too dark on her. really small uh, brush just to like myself I don't really think my mom's nose needs any lengthening or shortening so I'm just gonna be using uh, a little bit of this bronzer just to give it a little bit more definition instead of it looking just like blank and then next I just want to add a little bit of blush to my mom's face I'm just gonna be using Milani um, powder blush in shade a romantic rose I'm just gonna be using a flush fluffy brush just put that on the apples of her cheeks if you want to smile. Okay, and next this is my favorite part of my own makeup routine. I am going to add a little bit of highlight to my mom's face just to kind of emphasize uh, the high points of her face. Uh, but I don't want it to be too dramatic because like I've been saying, she doesn't really wear makeup. So I don't want to freak her out or anything. <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna be using I just got this brush uh, the R36 by Morphe um, highlight brush and I'm just gonna be using the wet wild uh, highlighting gold bar I got this thinking that it was gonna be a little more dramatic kind of like their other um, mega glow highlighters but this one's actually a lot more subtle than I thought it would be so I'm just gonna use this on her today I'm just gonna put it like on the uh, top of the cheekbones and kind of on the sides of the temple here bit on your nose and then I want to get some more and then I'm going to put a little bit right here on your cupid's bow just to highlight that a little bit more okay next I'm gonna move on to lips and um, so my mom really wants more of a neutral look so I'm just gonna be using nude pink by NYX just gonna line her lips just in case her lipstick comes off I want there to be some sort of color there just so it's not like a line and when I'm lining my lips, I really, I really like to go over the entire lip instead of just at the line, just so when your lipstick comes off, you don't just have a bold line going around your lips. Okay, so my mom actually decided that the original lip color that I put on her was a little too pale for her liking so we're gonna go with a little bit of a darker shade and this is still Maybelline uh, lipstick I'm just gonna be in the shade almond rose which is honestly one of my favorite a uh, little bit of a darker nude lip that I personally use all the time just going to um, use Milani Make It Last which is the best drugstore uh, setting spray that I love so much so I'm just gonna spray this all over her face and then fade her and then she'll be done Okay, so this is the final look I did on my mom today just a very natural yet can you close your eyes uh, just a, like a little bit of shimmer for her because she's you know she's going to a Christmas party. Uh, so this is the final look, and I think it turned out really great. I really enjoy the eye look and the look color I did on her. Yeah. So this is the end result that I ended with my mom on her makeup today. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. If you could also do me a favor, if you really liked this video, if you can give it a thumbs up and then also subscribe to my channel. And I do want to mention that my mom is also the one that really got me into making YouTube. So my mom has a YouTube channel and she does scrapbooking. So if you're really interested in that, I will link it down below. So if you want to check out her channel as well, it'll be right down below. But anyway, uh, I really appreciate y'all watching today and y'all have a wonderful day. Thanks.
next time, maybe we'll get some makeup. Maybe. Get a little, get a little pink in your hair. Maybe purple will match mommy a little bit. She's so tired. <laughs>